Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Matt and it is Terrible Tuesday. I hope each and every one of you are having a great morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, all of that fun jazz. Um, I hope you guys are watching some awesome, awesome movies. Uh, hopefully something uh, nice and gory. Uh, or maybe something like today's film. Today's film is about some necrophilia. Yes, I know some of you... That gets you uh, uh, going for for a style of film. I personally, I do enjoy um, uh, the few necrophilia movies out there, like Necromantic One and Two, Necrophile Passions. Okay, um, uh, uh, Lucker is is one that it's it's fun. Uh, too bad that one got screwed up with uh, production because that would have been an epic film all in all. I feel like. Anyways, 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 like I said, let's get to today's film. Today's is from 1981, a year after I was born. And like I said, this was made in Hong Kong, so do look out for subtitles. So if any of you people, uh, uh, any of you guys do not like subtitles, just skip this one. The last two days I would skip just, uh, just because they both... Uh, that's the only way you can watch them. There is no English dialogue dub or any of that. Um, it is all straightforward uh, uh, in in its native tongue, um, which I think it's Mandarin is what uh, this one is in. I should have double checked, but uh, it says original Chinese Chinese soundtrack, so Chinese, so not Mandarin, because um, I I believe they have two different languages that they speak over. There, um, two different dialects. I could be wrong. Uh, is anybody around? Is or there? Do I have any fans from there? Uh, could you uh, possibly fill me in on on how that works out there? I've always wondered. Uh, maybe someday I'll visit. I don't know. Not right now. <laughs> Uh, 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 anyways, anyways, uh, back to this one. It runs at about an hour and 22 minutes. At least this cut does. I don't know if any other existing cuts are out there. Um, there might be a watered down version somewhere in overseas somewhere because, uh, this one does get a little, um, little gross for as far as the, uh, the, how it looks and the, uh, the, uh, body, how it's presented. It's, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. It was nice and gooey and squirmy and uh it was great uh and this one stars tani tianni uh wong jung and sao Tahua, directed by kui shi hyung yeah i'm sure i murdered each and every one of those but i was trying darn it you gotta give me at least give me an effort point uh and there's none other none other bleh, none other than corpse mania yeah all right yeah like i said this is a shaw brothers classic edition uh the eastern masters um edition from shaw brothers very cool stuff uh let me open her up and we got a, a little booklet in there that gives you gives you some of their other films that they release uh kind of some cool stuff so you at least can look out for something uh, it is a standard issue press DVD, and there is an alternative artwork here, or not alternative artwork, but it is some uh, inner artwork that is interesting. There you go. I can't show that one for too long, but anyways, you, you saw it, and whew, was, I can show this all I want, though. <clears throat> Now, uh, what is this bad boy about? It's basically about this guy who, who um, goes to this this famous, well, famous like notorious brothel that is is uh, um, uh, run by a very stern lady. And you know, to to run something of that nature, you need to be, be a little, little strong when you got to be a pimp. You know, I mean, you got you got to keep that pimp hand strong. You know, all that jazz. <laughs> Uh, I wish I had one of those cups. Those are cool. <laughs> anyways, um, I said, I'm saying anyways a lot in this video. I, I don't know why I am. It's stuck in my brain for today. My brain's been a little fried. I, I've been up and doing yard work and stuff like that for my mother, helping her out and, and doing all of that. It's, uh, it's always a blast getting out there and, and actually getting some fresh air instead of sitting in the house feeling all trapped in jail um which by the way like i said this guy goes to this brothel uh that's a weird transition where he goes to this brothel but it, if you stay with me it, it'll make sense um 
uh, he goes to this broth brothel and picks plucks out this girl that he really likes, takes her home. She gets sick and dies. He keeps the corpse around and lays with it and does whatever else with it. Um, as they they uh, called it in this film, they said they were abusing a corpse, which I never heard that term like that before. But it uh, it's not too far off. You are technically uh, uh, sexually abusing abusing it, so uh, it's it's not necessarily a wrong thing. Uh, so the guy that this happened to. He goes to the insane asylum, and he is basically forced to stay in a in a jail type setting, much like we are now. And he is uh, going; he is crazy, much like we all are right now. Um, very uh, 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 scary on that side. No, I'm kidding. Um, but uh, he goes away for uh, I believe it's ten years or something like that. Uh, he gets released at some point, and there's a whole thing with uh, um, this this uh, uh, detective, and this detective is uh, trying to figure out who killed all of these other people along the way, which they didn't, which I forgot to tell you, the whole part with, with when they find the corpse is kind of funny. Uh, all these ladies on the street are, are basically talking about how much it stinks and and uh, what is that horrid smell and things of that nature. And they they are going around to see which side of the street and where it's at, and they find this luxurious um, uh, uh, estate that, uh, that, that is all run down and nobody's really taking care of it, and it looks just really bad. You know, one of those ordeals, there's cobwebs everywhere, um, really really uh it's supposed to be eerie for you if you don't like that some some kind of deep foreboding type stuff you know um and so they they come up and they find him with the corpse and they're laying there and as you see here uh we got one of the corpse we got the corpse right here and it is definitely it's covered in in worms and maggots and and things like that and it's kind of funny how in Hong Kong, I, it's it's kind of a, um, a trend there, the, the worms and maggots and centipedes and snakes. Because uh, I have uh, uh, the one I did yesterday, uh, the devil, which had worms and snakes come, and gooey stuff coming out of people. Uh, there's also, um, what is there, calamity of snakes. There's uh, killer snakes, speaking of the Shaw Brothers, that's a great one. Uh, and then there's a uh, centipede centipede. I have it somewhere over here. I forget. Anyways, it's a it's a it's a movie about killer centipedes, and it's uh, pretty fun. It's a uh, kind of squirmy, kind of like uh, it's like a squirm like trend that they had right around there, or at least at at one point. Which, by the way, I didn't realize that when I was setting up the last two days for the reviews that both these films came out in 1981. I did not realize that until just now. It just all of a sudden cracked in my head and like, oh yeah, The Devil. That was 1981 as well. And um, by the way, I was unable to find a trailer for this one. So there's no link to a trailer. But there is a link to a scene and it'll give you the vibe of what you're you're about to get into and so that should should help um i guess uh, uh see see how you feel uh, uh and if you want to watch it or not um this is one i don't suggest for everyone cuz it is slow uh there's some silly parts with the story that, uh, like this detective that's, that's trying to figure out who's been killing these other, other people, and one of the other detectives was actually, um, uh, uh, blackmailing somebody, blackmailing the, the madam from the, uh, from the brothel, and this guy gets brutally killed, uh, they think that she has something to do with it, lo and behold, they, this man with the white mask, the white uh, handkerchief over his eyes, sunglasses at all time, and a hat. Um, you never see him without it until the end. Obviously, you're going to when you have the unfolding of the villain because you got to do the Scooby-Doo, where are you? 
uh, you got to pull that mask off and find out who it is. It's old man Jenkins from the from wherever. <laughs> anyway, uh, I just said it again. But uh, 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 do I want to give anything else? Uh, oh, like I said, there he sets up these weird traps, and one of them it's like it's so confusing why it happened what is happening during it it makes no sense it's one of those uh they tried to kick you kick you in the gut with a little twist um didn't really like pay off in my opinion it was kind of eh, with its little twist it's double twist i guess it's got a double twist because you find out who the killer is and, and all that all that fun stuff um that's about all I really, really want to talk about for the, as far as um, what it's about or content or any of that. There's not, but by the way, there's not a ton of corpse loving. There is, so if you're in it for the corpse loving, there's not a lot of it, but it does, it is there. So keep that in mind. Uh, let's roll over onto the uh, ratings on this bad boy. Uh, as far as the technical side goes, it's okay. It's It's got a few hiccups here and there. Um, nothing really bad that I would, I would uh, uh, complain about it. Uh, it's not a perfect movie. It's not a bad movie either. It's, it's somewhere in between. And where it lies is, I believe, right in the middle of the road all the way. This is a... Uh, uh, a on the technical side, this is a three. It's a middle of the road when it comes to that. Um, so on the entertainment side, there's things that, like I said, the traps are kind of weird. So that gives the the entertainment gets a little wonky. But then after it after it's done unfolding its little trap, you begin to laugh because it's so like ridiculous and, and makes no sense why they would do that. <laughs> Like, I, I really want to tell you guys about it. It's so ridiculous, but I, I, I won't. I, I digress. So, um, this thing on the uh, entertainment side, it's probably a three as well. It's, it's not a great movie, like I said. Um, I honestly, I really want to just give it a five overall, you know, five out of ten. Uh, so let's do that. Let's, let's give this thing a five out of 10 and call it good right there. I know I would have added up to six, but this thing is middle of the road. Not anything you're going to miss. Uh, if you don't want to watch it, that's perfectly okay. I, I don't blame you for skipping over it. I'm going to put that bad boy down. Anyways, uh, I'm going to get the hell out of here. I got some other stuff I need to do. Uh, I hope each and every one of you have a great day. And I shall see your beautiful faces tomorrow. And hopefully you like seeing mine and all that.